Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Goose. And I got another video for you. Pumping out the New Orleans Breakers videos. Pumping them out. Uh, yeah. We'll see uh, We'll see how this league does. But, uh, of course, they're they're in day two of their draft. And uh, I want to... They're having a lot of rounds today. So I'm going to split things up a little bit. And this is round 13 through... See, 17. And this is just going to go over the uh, wide receivers that they drafted. That they drafted... See, one, two, three, four, five. They got five receivers that they draft. I just want to make sure they didn't have any compensatory picks in there, too. Because they there are they're they're in this league also some compensatory picks, because you could have two picks in one round. But anyway, let's go. Sean Poindexter, he's a wide out. This was round 13. Sean Poindexter, a wide out from Arizona. Uh he played there uh from uh, 2016 to 2018. And uh his overall he had 67 catches for 1,035 yards and 12 touchdowns. His biggest his biggest uh, year was his senior year. We had 42 catches, 759 yards, and 11 touchdowns. So uh, 13th round, the Breakers get Sean Poindexter. So we'll see how this works out. <laughs> you know, a lot of these players um, I ne honestly never heard of. Um, Johnny Dixon was uh, picking around 14 from Ohio State. And uh, for his career, he had uh, 67 uh, receptions, 1,146 1, yards, and 16 touchdowns. His biggest season came his senior year, 42 catches, 669 yards, 8 touchdowns. And he was at Ohio State from 2015 to 2018. So that's the breakers got him in round number 14. Let's go to round number 15. we got Jonathan Adams from Arkansas State. And see, he was there from 2017 to 2020, and he had 166 catches for his career, 2,306 yards and 21 touchdowns. His senior year, he had 79 catches, 1,111 yards and 12 touchdowns. So he well, it looks like he caught the ball pretty. He looks like he caught the ball a lot over there at Arkansas State. So we'll see how that translates uh, over to uh, to the USFL. But you know, like I said, uh, most of these players really haven't heard of but you know we'll we'll see uh, we'll see what they what kind of talent they have uh next we got uh what taewon taylor he's a wide out from uh, western kentucky he played there from 2013 to 2015 so he's been out of football for a while uh he had a he had 155 catches for his career for 2497 yards and 24 touchdowns his biggest year his senior year his last year there it was 86 catches 1460 yards and See, a 17 touchdowns. Another guy, you know, he you know, looks like he puts up good numbers uh, receiving, the, receiving the football, so we'll see how it translates. But, you know, uh, we'll see who our quarterback is. <laughs> uh, so we got Chad. See, Chad Williams, he's a, a wide out from Grambling State University in Louisiana. He uh, was picked around 17, and he had a lot of – another guy with a lot of catches. Two, he had 209 catches for his – for his career, over 3,000 yards, receiving 3,059 to be exact, and 28 touchdowns. He played there from 2013 to 2016, and his best year was 89 catches, 1,334 yards, and 10 touchdowns. So, I mean, look at the numbers. I mean, look if you look at uh, look at uh, Jonathan Adams. He had over 2,000 yards receiving for his career. Uh, Taewon Taylor had over 2,000 yards receiving for his career, and then. Uh, Chad Williams, he had over 3,000 yards receiving for his career. So we got some guys that actually put up some numbers. So uh, we'll see. Uh, no, we'll see what kind of talent they have. Um, so uh, there it is, guys. There's round number thir round 13 through 17. There's a wide outs, and there's a lot more, a lot more rounds to get to. So um, I have to see. I think I think the safeties are next. I forgot how many rounds they are. But um, all right, guys, that's a good one. That's that's gonna be it for this video. So uh, no, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about this league. Is it going to last? Mm, we'll see. Uh, the other two, the other two didn't fare well, but they were for dis different circumstances. While the uh, while the AAF and the XFL, uh, while they failed, one league uh, just ran out of money. Uh, they had bad, you know, foresight. They just had bad, bad planning, bad planning. Uh, other league was uh, no, you know, the, you know, we we all know what did them in is. Uh, that pandemic into men. Anyway, all right. Have a good one. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Go Blue Wave!
you wonder what that is, Go Blue Wave, it's the hashtag on Twitter, Go Blue Wave for the breakers. That's what that is. Have a good one.